Hi everybody, this is AJ with Car Inspected. Today we are in Woodbridge. We're looking at this 2012 Toyota Corolla with 106,000 kilometers on it. Silver in color. Not too bad for its age and mileage. Pretty low mileage for its age actually. It's got a couple of bumps and scrapes here and there. On the edges here. Oh, on the front bumper, it's a little scraped up. It's also uh, Carfax history with the front end repair, front middle repair. The repair looks to have been done correctly. I don't see any real issues. The bumper's a little misaligned here, but nothing too major. A couple of chips along the rocker here, and again another bump on the rear quarter panel. Did a paint thickness verification. I don't see any metal panels that have been repainted. Like I said, the front bumper has been replaced or repaired, but the rest of the car uh, is as original condition. There's some more bump in the back there. So there's a couple of bumps on the edges. Look at the tires. We'll start at the passenger side. Uh, evergreens all around. The front tires are a little more worn than the back. There is only about 3 30 seconds of tread left, and they are getting a little cracked in the front. The tires were produced in 2016, but as you can see, they are a little cracked. Brakes, you can't really see through there, but they're about 50% or so. Go to the rear passenger side tire. These ones are a little better. They are a little higher, I think they're about 8 30 seconds, 7 or 8 30 seconds, but again, they are a little cracked of the same vintage. Rear brakes are drum brakes. We'll see if they make any noise or anything on the test drive. Go around to the driver's side, and again, it is matching. The two rear tires are matching evergreens, and again, about uh, 7 or 8 30 seconds of tread left here, uh, but again, with the dry rotting. And of the same vintage. The front left or the front driver side tire. This one is pretty low as well. Matching tire, but uh, again, it has about 330 seconds of tread left and some dry rotting. I'd recommend them be replaced soon due to the dry rotting. And again, they are produced in 2016. These brakes look similar to the other side. A little bit of a ridge on the rotors, and the pads are about 50%. Underneath, we don't see any major damage, rust or anything like that. Walked around the vehicle, everything looks pretty good. The suspension components, I don't see any ripped axle boots or anything like that. It looks pretty good. Again, I don't see any damage or major rust issues. Out of the back, it's the same story. Looks pretty good. Not rusty or anything like that. Nothing damaged, no major issues. Passenger side, sus front suspension components. All look good, no signs of damage or extensive wear or anything like that. And I don't see any major leaks from underneath. Looks pretty dry. Did verify that all the windows are Toyota. All around, except for the windshield, is an aftermarket. Has been replaced at some point. But it looks like it was done correctly. There are no cracks or anything like that in it. Did a VIN verification. And it does match here. And in the door. So we are good there. While we're here, I'll show you the mileage. There we go. 106, 434. We'll go look in the trunk real quick. Let's we'll see what we got. 
pretty good in the trunk space. No signs of rust or anything along the trunk edges. Nothing's been replaced or anything like that. Carpeting is in pretty good shape. A little bit of staining there from something, but nothing too major. Here is a front plate mount, which is not on the front, and a steering wheel cover. Underneath this compartment, we have our spare tire, which appears to be in pretty good condition. Doesn't look like it's been used or anything like that. The jack is here and the tools are here. Look at the rear passenger compartment, the uh, door panel here on the right, on the left rear is in good condition. No real big signs of wear and tear. A couple little stains here and there, but nothing major. Rear seat is in good shape. No rips or tears. Seat belts look good. Pretty decent shape. Floor is good. We have factory Toyota all season mats. And underneath we have summer mats. And then underneath that we have nice carpeting. It's not wet or ripped or anything like that. A couple little bit of stains on this back seat and back of the front seats, but nothing major. Cup holders work. A little stiff, but it does work. We see the passenger side rear door panel is in pretty good condition. Again, no signs of wear and tear, real issues. Door jams are all nice and clean. No real problems. There's this side of the back seat, again, which is, looks nice. No rips or tears. Seat belts are all there and in good shape. And again, floors, we got winter mat, summer mat. And then underneath that is pretty nice carpeting. With a decent detail, I think this interior will come up pretty nice. No stains or anything like that in the headliner, as you can see. Nice and clean. Driver's side, I mean passenger side, door panel. Front looks pretty good. No real issues. A little bit of scrape here, but not big at all. Passenger side front seat is in good condition. No rips or tears. There's a little bit of a pen stain on the bottom here. Up front we find the same factory uh, floor mats. Underneath that, summer floor mats, original Corolla mats. And underneath that we find a pretty nice carpet, which is not wet or anything like that, no signs of, no signs of issue. And the glove box, there is a couple of uh, nicks on it, nothing big. We do find the owner's manual here, which is good. The top compartment is in good shape, door works, everything is nice. Top of the dash is not broken, ripped, torn, anything like that. Go to the driver's side. See this door pedal? It seems to look just fine. A little scuff on the bottom here, but nothing too major. Seats are in good condition on the driver front. The seat is in good condition. Under here we have a Toyota winter mat, but there is no summer mat. But the carpet is in pretty good shape and not wet or anything like that. We do have a missing cover for the OBD port. But other than that, the dash is in good condition. Cluster looks good. Dash top looks just fine. Steering wheel looks good, no signs of wear and tear. Console looks good. All the buttons are intact, nothing's broken. Here's your one key. I'm sure there's no, there might be another one. Uh, check with the dealer.
a little bit of a stain right there. But mirrors are all good, everything works. Lights work. Dome lights work as well. I'll turn the vehicle on real quick. See, it runs well. There's no weird noises or anything like that. Uh, radio works. Static, but there we go. The air conditioning system, heat and air conditioning. Everything blows. Uh, on the test drive, I will make sure the air conditioning and heat works. But everything seems to turn on as it should. You have a auxiliary port here. Heated seats seem to work. So everything seems to be in working order. Look under the hood real quick. Here we go. Get the prop up real quick. Under here we have the four cylinder VBTI engine. It's a bit dirty under here, dusty. The car's probably been sitting a good amount. As you can see, the battery does have a good amount of corrosion on it. It's a bit ugly. However, it does, uh, it is showing 12.4 uh, volts and it's charging at 14.6. So the charging system is working and the battery is still good despite its looks. I would imagine it would need to be replaced fairly soon though. There is a good amount of just surface rust stuff on all the components. You can tell the car was not uh, oil sprayed or anything like that. I don't see any issues. Major rust issues or anything like that. However, it was definitely dirty. You can see where an animal or something ate some of the insulation back here. The belts look pretty decent. No major issues, not dry rot or cracked or anything like that. Hoses, they all look fine. I don't see any major leaks or anything. There is a leak coming from the valve cover. You might not be able to see, there it is. That seam right there, uh, you can see, I can see that it is seeping down a bit, so there's a little bit of a valve cover leak, oil leak. Uh, your brake fluid under there, under this compartment, tested fine at 0% humidity, so we have no issues there. I tested your oil, and that came back just fine. No real issues. Looks pretty decent under here. Clean inside, no major problems. No evidence of frothing or anything like that. I also tested your coolant, which looks nice, uh, nice and clean, no signs of oil or anything in it, no contamination, and it tested fine for over negative 40, well below negative 43. So it is mixed well and nice and clean. Uh, there was one history code in the computer of a startability issue, but it was a history and not a current code. Other than that, there were no major issues. As I said, it runs, seems to run smooth. We'll see on the test drive how she does. But one last walk around of this 2012 Corolla. As usual, thanks for watching. This is AJ with Car Inspected, and we'll see you next time.